Hey guys, Shane Starnes with DroidModerX.com. We're going to be looking at the Clean ROM by Scrosler of Scott's ROM. Scott has always done an excellent job of taking the stock ROM of whatever device and stripping it down to the bare essentials while also improving performance. That's exactly what he's done for the Clean ROM. I'm going to show you guys how to install it, but first we're going to take a quick look at the ROM itself. Now I have to say, on a device like the HTC One M8, AOSP isn't there just yet. I've tried CyanogenMod 10, that is actually the only AOSP ROM that I've tried so far. I've heard that Liquid Smooth is a pretty good ROM. I'll probably try that pretty soon. Uh, but as far as CyanogenMod 11 was concerned, there were still lots of bugs. I know Invisiblec is working really hard at making that stable, and it's probably more stable today than it was two weeks ago when I tried it. But as far as I'm concerned, the stock HTC Sense 6.0 experience has been the best so far on the Verizon HTC One M8, and in particular, the Clean ROM has been an excellent experience. Not only is it bloat-free, but it has those performance enhancements. We get some battery life enhancements, and this ROM really does shine above standard stock. So first of all, we'll go to Settings, and we'll go to About. Go to Software Information, and you guys can see that we're on 6.0. KitKat 4.4.2 and we're on CleanROM 1.0. Okay, and this is on the latest over the air update 1.55.605.2. Okay, and then you guys can see that it is de bloated here. We've got our standard Google Apps and then we have uh, just the mobile hotspot from Verizon. Everything else from Verizon has been stripped away from this phone. The reason that mobile hotspot is included in this ROM is because the native tethering feature has been modified so that you're able to use free Wi-Fi hotspot on this ROM. Okay, so other than that, there's really not a whole lot of customization here. In fact, there's not any customization options built into this because this is designed to be a stock performance-based experience. Uh, so you will see that we do have just the HTC flashlight and we do have, uh, once again, only the Verizon voicemail and the hotspot feature. And we do have Super SU, so Super User Access. It comes pre-rooted out of the box. And then this Flipboard is normally a bloatware item, but it was not here. I downloaded it myself. And we'll just kind of look at performance real quickly. And so you guys can see that it operates very smoothly, very fast. Okay, and we will go ahead and install this ROM. So all you'll need is the clean ROM. I'll be sure to link to that in the description. You won't need any G apps or anything like that. The G apps are built into the ROM itself. So to boot into recovery, we'll go into settings and we'll go into power and just make sure that the fast boot is unchecked. Once you've done that, we will restart and hold the volume down button. Okay, alternatively, you could turn the phone off and then power up while holding the volume down button. That'll get you into the H-boot mode. From there, you'll scroll down to recovery and hit the power button to open up the recovery. Of course, you will need a custom recovery like TeamWin Recovery Project installed. And you'll need the bootloader unlocked with S off. Okay, so before you install a new ROM on your phone, you want to make sure that you have a Nandroid backup. So you would click backup and swipe to backup. That takes about five to 10 minutes, depending on how many files you have stored on your device. That's gonna back up everything. So the way that your ROM was with all your text messages, all your app information, everything that you have on your device, if you restore that Nandroid backup, it'll take you back to that. So if for some reason you don't like a ROM that you flashed, you can always revert back to the Nandroid backup. Or if for some reason, whenever you flash the ROM, something goes haywire, you experience some kind of hiccup or some kind of problem, you can always, safeguard yourself by having that Nandroid backup. So to restore that, you just go to restore, you would choose your backup, and uh, you would swipe to flash. So once we have our backup, we'll go to uh, the wipe button here. We're gonna wipe data cache Dalvik. You would swipe to wipe. Since I already have the ROM installed, I'm not gonna do that. And then you'll go to install, and you'll look up the ROM. I normally just have it in my download folder underneath the SD card. If you've downloaded it directly to your device, that's where it'll be. And you'll choose the clean ROM. Make sure that is what you're flashing. And then swipe to flash. Give that about five minutes to flash. And then you'll reboot the system. So the first boot normally takes five to ten minutes because you were totally uh, booting into a fresh system. So once you've wiped your data, everything will be wiped clean and it has to kind of uh, reboot all of those things. 
Okay, so if you flash the ROM correctly, you will be presented with the Nexus boot animation. You guys, that about wraps it up for this video. This is the Clean ROM install and Clean ROM review. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks, guys, for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.